This is Toma. And while he might be one of the best housekeepers on the south side of Teyvat, he definitely isn't one of the strongest in terms of meta. So to change that, the only logical conclusion I came to was to make him into a DPS. My plan to do this has three simple steps. Build him, test him, and throw him into the spiral abyss to see if he can clean up all the trash that's lurking down there. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this episode of Off Meta and begin with step number one, the build. Okay, so let's take a look at what our Toma's currently rocking right now. So he is level 90. He's rocking a level 90 Favonius Lance. He also has two-piece emblem and two-piece Millilith. He is C6, and his talents are 1, 12, and 10. So I think it's going to be important for this build, actually, that we uh, do level up his burst a little bit more. And you know what? I think it's going to be good I do this anyway, even if I'm not using him as a DPS. So now let's take a look at the artifacts, because this is where things are going to get really interesting. So I'm like kind of in between going for um, going for Shiminawa or going for, um, of course, uh, Crimson Witch. I do think Crimson, Crimson Witch is going to be better. I think, you know, I'm not the best at theory crafting or anything like that. But honestly, I think if we steal Hu Tao's artifacts, build him with a nice amount of EM, we can really do something here. So let's put on some of the best Crimson Witch pieces I have and see where we're at. Okay, so here's what I have for him right now. A decent Crimson Witch set. I haven't looked at the ratio yet, so I'm hoping it's good. 76 crit rate. Okay, I'll take that. Here's going to be our big crutch of the run. Now we're going to be using, don't mind the second, second one. We're going to be using Staffahoma or Staffatoma this time. I know this joke's been made a lot, but like, come on. This is literally the perfect weapon for him. So that gives us a decent ratio of a 76.5 crit rate and 173 crit damage. We also do have a decent amount of EM. You know, I wish my artifacts were a little bit better, but we're gonna work with what we've got. All right, so let's take a look at the current team I've kind of created here. It looks a little bit scuffed, but you know what? I think it'll work pretty well. So we have, of course, Toma as our DPS. Then we have Jean, which will be running Viridescent. Then we have Freena and Yelon as our Hydro Applicators, which will hopefully provide us enough uh, Hydro for us to vaporize some of Toma's damage. Again, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we are gonna find out. And find out we will. Honestly, my expectations for this build actually working was quite low. So I recommend you stay tuned for what's about to come. Speaking of which, it's time to move on to step number two of our plan, testing him out. I think it's only right we start this by fighting the Denjo Chicken. That's one of my favorite bosses to test things out on. The Denjo Chicken it is. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's see how this is gonna go. I have no idea what to expect for his damage. All right, let's start by putting all our bursts down. What numbers are we seeing? Can we see any vaporizes in there? 15k? I don't know if I really saw anything. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to take a look and slow that one down and see if we got anything good there. Although it's not the most impressive number in the world, we did manage to hit a 15k vaporize with Toma. Not too bad, but it could definitely be better. Let's see how well we do against the next boss, the Perpetual Mechanical Array. You know, this boss can be really annoying to fight, but we're definitely gonna see what happens with this one, so let's get started. Okay, I don't- I think I'm seeing decent numbers. I don't know where the vaporized numbers- I think the 8,000 is what we're hitting. Definitely not what I would consider to be the most, uh, most impressive, but we're doing good damage, and I don't know if that's because, um, you know, Yelon and, um, Freen are carrying really hard, but I'm gonna catch that hit there. 33k on the skill. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Of course, Yelon has to show it up by hitting 68k, but it's Yelon, what can you expect? But you're the star of the show today. Honestly, hitting 33k with Toma is quite an impressive number, but I think we can strive for more. Let's take down one more boss and see how we do. Primo Geo Fishhap, I'm looking at you. Alright, looks like he's pyro resistant, but that's okay, because honestly, who knows what's going to happen anymore. 17k right there, that's not horrible. 
Seven. What am I seeing here? I saw Vaporize in there. Two. 16k Vaporize. It's not bad. And he was pyro resistant. It's not bad. We're getting somewhere. I feel like. I feel like we really are getting somewhere with this build. It's kind of scuffed. But you know what? It's kind of working. Because at the end of the day. We're using Toma on field. As the DPS. So I think this is working out pretty well. Even though Farina and Yelan may be carrying this team hard, I still think Tilma is doing a pretty good job in this team. Let's hope he can keep it up, because it's time for Step 3. Sorry Toma and co, but I'm sending y'all to the Spiral Abyss. Good luck down there. Alright, let's go ahead and start the chamber. Let's go ahead and group these guys up real quick with the little grouping technique. There we go, you love to see it. Okay, let's switch to Gene. Gene's getting bullied, that's okay. Okay, let's put all that down. Put Yalon and everything else. Okay, there we go. Very good start. Let's start attacking these guys. Hate that this one isn't as grouped up as we might like it to be, but that's okay. Let's continue going through. Almost done. Okay, perfect. Let's start our rotation again. Let's get some of that Pavonius. Okay, they're gonna do the big mean move, which I do not like very much, but that's okay. Move all these guys up. Do that. Okay, let's start attacking. We're getting some really decent numbers right now. I'm seeing 21k vaporizes, which you know is not bad for Toma, who is supposed to be a support. So I will gladly take that. Let's start getting everyone's burst back up for the next chamber. There we go. And we get a nice Favonius proc, proc Vina, Farina, please. After a pretty quick clear with our Toma team, all Nuvolet's team had to do was clean up the second half. Alright, Rune Serpent's also down. Thanks again to Monsieur Nuvolet. Fancy there, are we? Well, let's see how well our teams can take on the next chamber. Alright, here goes chamber two. I don't know how to group these guys up at all, so we're kind of just going to wing it right now. Okay, get all those things going. You're gonna summon your crocodile and stuff like that, but I do not care. I have vaporized Toma, which is gonna beat you all up. Let's kill that thing real quick. I don't like that thing. Okay, we're getting some. Wow, okay, we did that part actually really fast, honestly. Okay, pretty damn good. I'm gonna be honest. That was a really satisfying rotation right there. Alright, let's continue it on. Unfortunately, Galon is not up yet. Neither is Toma. A little bit of a problem. Bonius. Okay, we can get at least uh, Galon up here. Get Toma up here right now. Very good. We can also get Rina going again. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's continue this going. I think we're almost done with this chamber. Not too bad! Pretty easy! At this point, I was pretty shocked at how well Toma and Co. was cleaning up these abyss floors. Nuvolet, of course, didn't have much trouble with the other side, too. Alright, Nuvolet is almost done dealing with the Wee Nut, and it's down and really in my face for some reason. Oh boy, I don't like where this sentence is going. Let's just move on to the next chamber, shall we? Ooh, elemental skill damage was 20%, I'll take that. Okay, let's let's start getting some energy back for all these guys real quick. We have time. We have time. We have all the time in the world right now. Let's start doing this. Okay, we're all good to go. We are all good to go. Let's start doing everyone's bursts. Let's get Yelons out here real quick. Let's do your skill. Do that. 32k I saw. 12k. 12k consistent. 12k for vaporizes. Pretty dang good. Alright, let's see if we can get Farina's burst up and going once again. And we're gonna get Jean back on here too. Getting us our full party heal, which I love, love, love. Okay. Fortunately, Toma's burst isn't back up, but that's okay. It will be in one second. There it is. 24k. Very, very good rotation. And with that final floor cleared with Toma, Nuvolet, of course, had no trouble at all cleaning up the second half. Alright, we're almost done with the Aeon Blight Drake. And one more tap. Let's give it to Child. Here you go. Beautiful finish from Child. Okay, that went really well. Looking back on everything, even though Toma did get hard carried by Farina and Yelon, 
I still think Toma did a great job at being our on-field DPS while dishing out some nice damage to all our foes. So I honestly think this was a great success. On that note, it's now perfect time to wrap up today's episode of Off Meta. And hey, if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe so I know you want to see more videos like this. If you have a suggestion for a character I should feature in the series next, let me know in the comments down below. That's all for me today. See you later.